What's going on guys? So today I wanted to share something with you that not a lot of people know about me. Um, I have kyphosis lordosis. Now what that is, is my upper spine has a curve and my lower spine has to compensate for the curve. So from a side view, my spine looks like an S. I found out about this when I was about 15 years old. Uh, it was a routine checkup for high school and the nurse noticed that there was a curve in my spine. So I went to the doctor and got an x-ray done. I think I might still have a picture of that x-ray and I'll put it somewhere around here. So my, it showed I did have a 10 degree difference from a normal spine. So from a side view, you might notice that I have a forward head posture my shoulders are kind of slouched over pelvic bone the pelvic area is like my butt is kind of poked out right and i feel like that had something to do with my hip mobility because my muscles are tight here from my lower spine kind of curving in so how do i go about that with lifting is i have to make sure my form is good and that's from squats and deadlifts back when i first started lifting at like 16, 17 years old, I noticed that my back would be very, very sore. Now me thinking, I was just being stubborn and thinking it's normal. A lot of people have back pain when they're lifting. It's way more noticeable when I bend over. When I'm standing for a long period of time, I tend to slouch. So I have to remember to keep my back straight, shoulders back, and it might look a little weird, but it's gonna feel better in the long run. When the doctor officially diagnosed the kyphosis, he gave me an option whether to wear a brace, and if it gets past a certain degree, the curvature, I would have to get surgery. But he said, it looks like to him it's not gonna get any worse, but and it won't get any better, because I did not take the option of wearing a brace back then, and that's my fault. So, now I just have to live with it, and kind of what Do work things. my life around the the whole back problems before every workout session i make sure i foam roll i foam roll my thoracic spine for about 20 to 30 minutes before actually getting into the lift just to make because when i wake up i feel real real tight and stiff and stuff like that and i don't want to hurt myself as far as pain um I do get pain in my back doing certain lifts, and that's if my form is messed up. And of course, when you work heavy, your form kind of breaks down and people can get away with it. With me, it doesn't work that way. So I have to make sure my form is perfect or else my back will hurt. And I don't want to mess up my back because my back isn't as healthy as others. So aside from the physical pain of it, in high school, I remember one day someone pointed out that I looked hunchback. So after she pointed that out, it made me very self-conscious about it, and I was aware that it looked that I looked different, you know. So I'd say between the age of 16 to 18, it bothered me the most. So I was very self-conscious, you know, making sure no one would see me slouching, no one would see, you know, me bending over because it was very noticeable. Now, so. I always had a backpack on. I never really wanted to take it off because it would show my back. Now with the backpack on, you can't really tell. So now that I'm older, I'm not too worried about what other people think or how other people see me. More, I'm more concerned about myself. So instead of worrying about the way I look, I worry about the way I feel. So if you have any physical limitations, just know that there's always an alternative route. Do what's best for you. <laughs> do what's best for you only you know what's best for your body and if you have any questions about kyphosis any, or anything about how i go about my life that i did not cover in this video just comment down below be sure to subscribe like the video and i'll see you next time